and uh, there is a game mode that includes robots and uh, when you click game start then the actual um, picture will come uh, so but, uh, yes. Sorry, sorry. <coughs> Every game started. Yeah. Can you say, Aiden, a little bit about the game? Sure. Um, is trying to get to the middle of the maze. So you're the white one, right? I'm, I can I control the the blue one, the red one, and the white one. It's a three-player game. Okay. Uh, only it's not working. Oh. Oh, maybe because you moved from a Mac to a PC now, the keys might be a bit different. Yeah. Up. Captain. No, he, he programmed this on a Mac, and I think it calls the keys differently because he's on a PC now. Yeah, that, that's the word up. U. U P. Capital U P. I don't think. No, the lowercase p. Oops, no. Proper case, uh, capital U. Proper case U. Uh, lowercase p. That's dumb, right, baby? D O. Then right and left. I think that one's right. If you think it's complicated, it is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it works. Yeah, the red one moves around. Talk. Um, the blue one is controlled by the keys in the middle. The blue one can go through the walls. The idea of the blue one is not to get to the middle. It's, uh, it's the third player. It's trying to crash into the other two players. And if it does, they start over. Same as if they go to a wall or get hit by the yellow pink things. So it's sort of like a game of cat and mouse. It's also I figured out how to make these um, spinning lines do anything except spin. <laughs> That's um, they do have speed up keys, but the speed up key isn't there. The blue one automatically changes its speed. Every two seconds, it flips up. Basically, it's 50% chance of going faster or slower. So it will randomly slow down or speed up. Yeah. 